That was sweaty. Hello there, mortals. I am Jensen, and welcome back to the Remnant 2's Yasha DLC. Uh, I've, I've got this thing right here. I've got this thing attached to me, and I'm not entirely sure what the hell it is or what it's supposed to be doing, but uh, we did just defeat a mini-boss with nothing but our own inner resources and, of course, our trusty doggo here. Um, we found a hidden wall as well, which is probably the third one I've found in the entirety of the game so far. And now we're after four sigils around this area. I think they're around this area. And we want to kind of use them to break open what I imagine to be an item or a secret. So I'm going to be rushing around this area here. We still have the mod that triples the enemy spawns. And of course we still have the mod that uh, increases the trait point cap. Both level and of course the amount that you can actually get feasibly. So... I am still looking around uh, for sigils. It's basically going to be an episode of attrition, I think. We're going to be running around looking for any semblance of sense. Oh, I probably should have looked on the map where that hidden wall was, because I didn't. Also, this thing is still attached to us, and I don't know why. Maybe it's on the Dreamcatcher? Oh, it is on the Dreamcatcher. Okay, that was weird. That was super strange. If I go to the map, uh, there should be like a, a tower right here. So this is where the hidden wall is, up here. Or is it down here? One of the two. And we haven't seen any sigils just yet, but we are getting to the point where we are coming up to like new areas. Yeah. So I'm going to reload our gun right here. And we will keep on keeping on. I thought it had something to do with these uh, poppy things because in the previous... Oh, what's this? Is this what I need? Important. Yeah, you don't say. What is it? Oh! Uh. Uh oh! Do we have to fight something? Oh, I see! There's like five braziers. Okay, so we have to hit a bunch of those points. Gotcha! Gotcha! And then it's probably going to open up like an invisible path over here so we can go into those ruins. Who knows, actually? I'm just speculating. I have no idea. Don't, don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Unless I actually find the answer, in which case, yes, I know exactly what I'm talking about, which is pretty funny. Uh, we didn't look on that pillar to see if there were any sigils, however, and I'm leaning forward now because I have to actually concentrate. This one kind of looks like the teardrop sigil, but I don't think it's actually relevant necessarily so we'll come out here and hopefully we will find something a little bit more reliable than what we already have because as it currently stands we have nothing that's an enemy hello i recognize you and that one right there as well that's a special probably should have fired at him first whoa okay good throw good throw indeed good sir good throw okay i used my ass kicker against him probably a little bit overkill but you know it is what it is uh, I'm going to pop down here. Hopefully we can jump back up there. Okay, good. I thought that was uh, perchance an enemy, but it was not. Wonderful. There's got to be like four rooms, I imagine. Four secret rooms that we can kind of find the sigils that we need to find. What is that? Hello? Oh, there's a pot down there. Okay, I'm just, I'm just going to fire away at that pot. I'm not even going to let it get any more than a single hit off. I wasn't very confident about that either. I'm just glad that it ended up being that way. Hello there, sir. Oh, can't do anything with that. Can I use dream catch him? Nope. Damn, that is a cool effect. I wish I knew what it does. Uh, we found the stalker's brand. What? That's in the... That's in Remnant. That's in the... We actually have a lot of items that we can take a look at possibly. So stalker's brand gained 12.5% ranged and... Against enemies not targeting the wearer. That's actually pretty good for stealth playing, but it's not amazing for us in this instance. What else we got? We got the Thalos Islet, which grants one stack of bulwark and two stamina regen per second for each bulwark stack. We don't actually need to look at stamina because we've got unlimited infinite stamina. What the hell is that? Whoa, my god! Cease! Okay, I fired that, and now every shot is going to hopefully. Damn it. I think I missed. There we go. I'll fire it there. Still not really targeting. That sucks. Let's fire a bunch of spines on him. That'll do the trick. Okay, we're on fire, which is uh, absolutely fine. And he's dead. Good. Now, so we need four sigils. I see 
four, count them, Holy four hell. towers. So I'm assuming that there's going to be one sigil per tower. There's a bunch of items over here too. This is definitely going to behoove us to go in here. Right, so we actually have to find these these hidden rooms. Now I imagine they are. Maybe under here? No. There's got to be hidden rooms all over the place. Unless the sigils are kind of like just hidden in plain sight. Which may be the case, but also may not. Okay, that was not an enemy. It was just a pot. It's fine. Okie dokie. Wow, there's actually a lot of places that we can go around here. There is a bonfire that we can rest at very, very close in here. Which might be a good idea since we're out of dragon hearts, but at the same time... Probably not necessary, right? Okay, there's definitely th five of those platforms that we need to activate. To activate this lady's face, which is very similar to the one we're wearing. Huh. Okay. Maybe... Maybe that's some... Maybe that boss is, like, one of the people that we just stole this armor from. Because we did just find it. After a bunch of traps. Uh, there's something up there. I think it's, like, some chains? Yeah, it's just a bunch of chains. Alright, what's in here? Just an item that's fine. Any sigils, maybe? Nope. Not a single one. That's also fine. Okay. Uh, enemy! A lot of enemies out here! One of them is a special! Uh, I'm gonna probe him a couple of times. Okay, he's off to do a couple of dirty, cheeky, yucky strats against us, but it didn't quite take. Let's just put a spine against this guy and forget more about him. Bad news. What do you mean more bad news? You not there he goes. He's done. Okay, I'm not seeing anything useful. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hear me out. The glyphs are going to be... Oh, we're going down. Okay. The glyphs are going to be kind of like inside of that that area that we just discovered. What's in here? That's an enemy right there. Boop. 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 Oh, I've got no spines. I tried to activate my spines, but it just didn't take. There's one as well. We'll use our Tesla gun against him. Any more? No, it does not look like it, does it? Okie dokie. I'm okay with this. Oh, that was lucky. I was hoping that uh, that wasn't going to be a, a, like a, like a thing that we just roll over. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be an enemy. Alright, I'm seeing four places to stand. I'm not seeing any glyphs. One right here as well. Nothing behind there. Nothing around us. Okie dokie. A lot of roots blocking the way here. We're gonna have to go around. What the hell is that? Uh, hello? Explain yourself! Okay, I'm gonna shoot this guy with a spine. Missed. Oh, okay, that hurt like hell. Okay, I'm moving because he's a bit of an asshole, actually. Nope, don't want to have another one. Yeah, okay. Doggo, I'm going to need your help. I'm really going to need your help here. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. Uh, one more, probably. No, nope, not at all. That's fine. Why are there so many specials in here? Okay, let's run away. Come. Whoops. That actually hurts. That actually hurts really bad. Oh, uh, we didn't even touch this bonfire, and yet it actually spawned us here. That's fantastic, actually. That's wonderful. I love that. That's so good. Okay, so we're going to have to come through here anyway. Doggo can have that uh, really, really lame grunt. Oh my god, that lame grunt actually hit me. Uh, let's use the Tesla gun, because there's a group of enemies here. Good. And now we'll use our ass kicker. No, we'll just use the spines, I guess. Okay, Ritualist level 7. We actually should be using our class skills a little bit more frequently. But we have not been. We got absolutely yeah, just railed down there as well. That was a bad place to go. Okay, I don't really see any like hidden walls down there or anything. Oh, we forgot to go down that hidden path in the elevator in the first area as well. It's okay, we have to go back there anyway to talk to the uh, kind of like dismantled armor of stone, I think. We could probably very reasonably call it. Okay, let's get our Tesla gun out with all of our specials, because we are probably, let's face it, going to need it. Uh, that's an enemy right there. Got him. Yes. And this one too. Good. Got him. Is there another one? Nope. There is not. Okay. I'm thinking, let's get the ass kicker out. We will chain the special right there. 
And now we will fire all of our shots at him while he's at a massive amount of range, firing up our special. Okay, that was a uh, real bad actually. That was a real bad time to do that. So that we have unlimited ammunition and also, oh yes, increased damage. So there is actually another special who should be around here as well. Well said, Scarby. Well said indeed. What is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I think that's a special. Nope, that's definitely not a special. That's probably a special. Yep, that's a special. Got him! Uh, what are you doing, doggo? What are you biting? Oh, I see. Just some random grunt. Random grunt he found in a bush somewhere. That's fine. So down at the end of here, still don't really see anything of note. No glyphs, no nothing. No, I don't see anything actually. Except for a bunch of purple dots up there. But I don't really think... Oh, we've been there actually. We've actually been there. I can see it on the map. Okay, we'll push onwards this way. Maybe we'll find some more unlockables. We still haven't found any glyphs, have we? What the hell is this? Hello? I don't know what that is. I think it's got... It's probably got something to do with that uh, dingbat, right? The one who got kind of caught with his pants down. All right, one chain, and now we fire. Good. And who is next? Because I have so many rounds. I have so many rounds. This guy's next? Nope. This guy's next. Hello. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, that's a pot. Okay, two can play at that game. Miss homing missile. Got him. Okay, good. There is a lift right here. Don't know if that's an enemy. It's not an enemy. Good. Uh, let's push on through here really quickly. Wow, that guy's huge. Oh, there's another pot. Uh, we're going to fire our homing missiles here at him. Good. Who the hell fired that? This guy right here. Okay, I probably should use my homing missiles at this guy. Whoops, take that one right to the face. Boom! Let's fire. What were you shooting at, my dude? I don't think it was shooting at anything, really. Okay, I actually see a special up on the cliff right there. So maybe we'll put a pin on him really quickly and try and toast him from a distance. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, that's not an enemy. So I don't see any glyphs or anything on this guy here. None necessarily. What if we just like try and activate this? No, nothing. I don't even know what these flowers do. To be quite honest. What about this guy? Nope, that was just a statue. That's fine. Just a gargoyle. Oh, hello. We've got manticores. Right. Right. No, they're not manticores. The manticores are the giant rat things, aren't they? All right, good. The ass kicker is still absolutely pulling its weight. Uh, looks like we found a hidden waterfall. A cache of free things for the hidden waterfall. I'm gonna get my Tesla gun out, because water. Water and electricity mix uh, about as well as we want it to. Okay, there's nothing through there. What the hell? I just took damage. That That's not very nice. Okay, we'll take that one out. So these, oh, centipedes, that's what they're called. These centipedes don't actually appear to be root infested. They appear to be something else. Maybe they were created by, by the old pan. Well, maybe the root has been here for just so long that it's already forgotten. Okay, let's put a, a spine on this guy's head because he's a special. Well, that's a lot of damage. Good. And I'm also going to fire off a homing missile at him. Okay, he is not happy with us. But it doesn't matter. Ow! Oh, yes! It matters! It matters! He fired a bunch of thunder at us. Uh, Doggo's getting us up. Thank the Lord. And I'm going to move, and we're going to unload on this centipede and also this centipede right here, because we still have unlimited ammo for a time. We'll reload before it expires. Yeah, it's okay. still actually unlimited. This is it. Crazy. Okay, I'm still... I am actually keeping a good eye out for glyphs. I don't see any. We're still in the same region. Nothing down here, I don't think. No, nothing down there. I was hoping we didn't, like, accidentally slip off of the edge of the waterfall, and we didn't, which is quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna take the low ground first, in case there's something hidden down here. This looks sus. That's not sus. Is there anything sus down here? It appears not. 
Okay. Nothing sus at all. So we'll go up now. All the way up here. I hear enemies probably planning on knocking us off the ledge here, but I will not allow such a transgression. There we go. I'm gonna fire at him. Good. And now we're going to jump off the ledge here. Good jump, me. And we will kill this thing. Now we will kind of hide out here for a moment while we reload and we'll push onwards. Tactical. Okay, we've got another one of these Watsmadoodles. Again, I don't see any glyphs on it. There's a drop down point right here. Nothing behind us. Nothing ahead of us. What are these? It's nothing. Okay. Any glyphs here? No, it doesn't look like it at all. Right. Okay, so we will come back down here. There is another one. No, nope, we've already been here. This is a location we've already been to. I remember there was a lift. Here it is. Right here. What are the odds that I find it that, that quickly after remembering it? Probably actually closer to doing so than not, given that I had an association with that location and a lift. Okay, good. Pretty close. Have we already been here? I think we're about to find out. I don't remember. Memory does not serve. Let's get our Tesla gun out in case we get ganked. We're not getting ganked at all. In fact, I think this is actually the side path for the direction that we did not already take. Which is pretty good. That's sus. Nope, nothing. Yeah, I feel like the glyphs are actually going to be in that area that we just found. So we're probably going to have to activate all of these towers first. There's five of them. There's five of them in total. We will activate every single one of them before we kind of get a little bit frustrated and uh, try and figure out alternate. Uh, no. Oh no. I was I was reloading. Whoa, okay. Okay. He's doing a screen. We are going to peg him a couple of times. Or not. We are going to use base damage, I suppose. No. Not like this. Okay. <laughs> Doggo can get us up while uh, Watson Madoodle screams at us. Okay, Doggo has aggroed him, which is awesome. Never mind, he has not. Okay, I dodged that one. Like, no, no, not like this! I'm actually stuck! I'm actually stuck! This sucks! Seriously? Die! Thing! Oh, no! 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 Oh, good. Okay. Sorry, I think I just peaked the microphone a little bit. I didn't realize that there was actually something to fall down over there, because I was looking at the mini-map and thinking, oh no, it's just a straight shot to death. Hey, dropped a luminite crystal. That was nice of him. Okay, so we've got another one. I gotta, I gotta remember to go back and check that uh, area that I just peaked the microphone at. Okay, so that's three. That's probably going to light that one, right? Yeah, definitely that one. It's the only one we can see from here. Okay, so coming back down and ignoring the fact that I just screamed like a little girl because I thought I was about to die. Whoops. Uh, I'll push along. I'll push along. We'll do a bit more pushing. So we pretty much cleared out this area. We probably now have to just backtrack. And we also have to keep in mind that all of the enemies have also respawned. So we're going to have to... Get an eye out for that as well. That guy absolutely just nailed us with that shot. Good shot, buddy. I'm not seeing a huge amount of utility with these flowers. Honestly, they seem a little bit useless. The hell is that? Oh, I see. It's that thing, right? Boop. Got him! Okay. Is it? Okay, we should probably just take it out, right? How much health does one spine do? Most of it. Hey. Oh, I thought it was actually going to kill him with one hit, which would have been crazy. All right, onwards. The doggo is on fire. Poor guy. Poor doggo. Poor doggo indeed. So now we need uh, twin towers. We need two more towers, and I don't know where they could possibly be. They're probably going to be... Oh, hello. Jesus, you scared me. Hello there to you as well. You as well. You, you also have a hello. Boop. I'm moving away from that thing, of course. Good. We got him. Got him! So, where would we be looking? Because, if we look at this, we see that this half has been illuminated. 
I don't see any others. I don't think that there's one that way, unless we just check the map. Oh, we didn't even go that way. What the hell? What is wrong with that? There is actually another path that we can go down here, though, that hasn't been explored. Maybe that would be a good idea. Maybe we backtrack a little bit and we go and explore that. Ah, oh, we got to go back anyway, because we need the uh, sigils to open the, the hidden door that we found. Way back. Way back at the hidden door. So come over here. Oh, I'm hunched over my screen. What? There is kind of like a little icon right below, right above my health bar. It's like a fractured skull. I'm not entirely totally sure right. what it is. Let's or... do this. How do we see this? Uh, archetype. No. Uh, we're keeping Ritualist, by the way. We're definitely keeping Ritualist. It is actually a crazy powerful archetype. Especially since when we remember it, it just dumps status effects on enemies. Which, in turn, actually makes the ass kicker rifle slightly harder of an ass kicker. No, we didn't go this way. We didn't go this way at all. We took the lift and then we just kind of went back to the start. Like a like a bunch of idiots. Now let's get the Tesla gun out in case we get into some close quarters skirmish. I see an enemy right there. Don't really see any specials, but I obviously I'm wrong. Okay. I'm gonna spine him. Never mind. I'm not gonna spine him at all, in fact. Let's do the spell. Let's do a spell on him. And now let's use the ass kicker. There we go. We are dumping damage. Uh, so is he, actually. And there's also a clock firing at us, which is not amazing. Okay. That didn't do a hell of a lot of damage, but we've got two spines, which is exactly how many we need to take out these goddamn annoying ass mortars. Oop. I'm going to move out of the way of that one. And as soon as he hits half health, I'm going to deploy... Actually, as soon as it wears off, I'm going to deploy my last one. Because all it does is stack up the damage. All right, I see a hidden path down there. Well, maybe it's not hidden, because I see it on the map, but... I do see an enemy there as well. Let's get our ass kicker out, and we'll get the jump on him before he gets the jump on us. Whoa, he has a special! That was a good idea. Okay, excellent. I dodged that. Very, very cash money. What about this guy? No, he's definitely not an enemy. Okay, four out of five, right here. Excellent. I imagine that the last one is going to be ahead of us, obviously. Oh, right, it's illuminating those things. So we've still got one more to do. It's going to be uh, past this waterfall. I actually see a huge section of the map above us as well. And then hopefully we're going to get the sigil in that room that we unlock. It's through here. Is there anything through here? Or is it just kind of like a viewpoint? Anything here? I don't see anything in here. So I don't think it's particularly useful to us. No, there's nothing over there. I did look. I did look. So we'll come up the guts here next. And I will continue coming up the guts. There we go. Very nice. And we'll shoot him as well. Good. Was that all of them? I didn't hear the kind of like sting for a special. So I doubt there's a special. But we can actually go up this way. No shot. No, we can't actually go up that way. There's, there's rubble in the way. Did I just hear enemies? Especially enemy, to be precise. I'll just tell. Let's get our Tesla gun out. We'll reload it before we get into the skirmish. Excellent. All right, where is it? I heard it clanging around. I heard it. I heard it doing a bang at its shovel around. Oh, there it is. What is he doing? He just laughed. What a weird enemy. I'm kind of glad we got the jump on him because I, I really did not want to hear what kind of smack talk he had available for us. Yuck, what a degenerate. Okay, we'll come up here. And then we are pretty much done in this area, I think. We've unlocked that door. Hopefully there is... A okay, that's full, good. Whoop, what is it? Hello? That's not good. Whoop. Okay, he's going to do his drop attacks. And probably another couple. Nope, he's going to do a couple of screams. Let's pick him. Oh, get up. We don't want to hit by that second one. And we're not going to be. He's going to scream. It's not going to do him any good. This is basically space. Okay, he's probably going to fire something at us. Never mind, he's attacking the doggo for some reason. Oh, wow, what an idiot. He even died like an idiot. Flung himself off the map. Uh, this? Is this sus? No, that's not sus at all. 
Although this one over here could potentially be sus. No, no sus. No sus whatsoever. Sus free. It's a sus free zone. And there's also nothing sus over here either. There's a chest down there. There is a chest down there. What the? Is this part marked on the map? Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around there. I'm going to see what that chest has to offer. And then I'm pretty sure we have to open that door uh, to get back to our egress. There is another little dit on the map that I didn't quite explore as well. So I'm going to go up there really quickly as well. Just in case there's a hidden goodie. And there usually is. If you see like a tiny little portion on the map in these games, there's usually some kind of hidden goodie. But we're going to use our eyes to check before we actually jump down there. So where is it? It's just off the ledge here. Anything down there? No. Absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. That's a shame. That's a real shame. So we'll come up here. And instead of going down the same path that we just went down, we'll come straight off the ledge and try and jump down to that chest. Hopefully we've got enough resistance to not die from this full damage. Oh, no, there's a couple of paths to jump down anyway. There. And here. And we've got a chest right here, which might actually spawn an abomination. Nothing? Really? Nothing? That's unusual. Usually those hidden chests spawn some kind of abomination, which allows us to get a mutator of some sort. Okay. I suppose there can't be that many mutators in the game. Although, what harm would it do? Because it's virtually free. Mutators are virtually free to program. You just need to build the icon. And then you put a status modifier on it. Okay, so through here and to our left should be an open goddess door. Very similar to the mask that we are currently wearing. Hello! Oh! Oh, cool! That's a butthole if I ever saw one. What else is in here? Anything creepy? Anything creepy indeed? Is that sus? No, that's not sus. Okay, there's no other sus in here. Still not really seeing a whole lot of these icons. Apparently, that statue is lifting up the roof. Why bother? There are pillars all over the place, you nonce. There's a couple of them here and there. I got some scrap out of that kill, if you could call it that. All right, hello. It is I, uh, the imposter. I have come to uh, take that thing. Okay. All right, lore. Prayers offered to Goddess Lydusa on this day, as recorded to, by the Vaunt. May we prosper in this new land forever and ever, Sarun. Might you create a living stone that chops trees swiftly, Davos? Please, Goddess, protect my kin who were lost upon the dark sea. Please guide them to another shore and one day back to me. More titana. May the jungle be fertile and my hunt fruitful, Eslu. We're in want of more living stones to protect us from predators and invasion. Sikalazan. I want to grow taller, please. Ralien. Well, Ralien is based. Ralien is absolutely based. Okay, I've seen enough. Wonderful. Uh, that's probably going to be it, right? Is there anything that we have to offer? I feel like that's just certain death, right? We can't, like, go in here. It's going to be too deep. It's going to be death. I'm taking it anyway. Oh! I got the bloodless crown. It's the king's crown. Or the queen's crown. Whose crown is this? Okay, we've got an item. Ah, right. So the Trinity Memento seems to be one piece of something larger, though you're not sure what. It was no small feat to find this little trinket, but you're dying to figure out whatever mystery it's hiding. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no. Oh, that was close. No. Okay, we can try again. So I took the crown, and that spawned him. Right, uh, let me, before I forget, take a look at this crown. The weight of this crown is heavy, so much heavier than you might have guessed. Though aged, the shining metal has been carefully preserved, and the crown jewel radiates with a passionate fury you can scarcely comprehend. Uh, not gonna lie, looks kind of silly. Okay, well, we got that out of the way. So we go into our inventory and we take a look at this. There's got to be an item that we can kind of like interact with. 
we either slot this into an item or there's something that we can actually do with it. Right? Back on Yeisha, the commoners would lull their younglings into sleep with stories, fantastic fables about the lost tribe. We all knew better, of course, knew that those Pan, who were separated from the rest on the Dark Sea, were lost and would not ever be found. There has never been proof to convince me otherwise. Not until now. Okay. I'm not really seeing anything we can really do to play with this. I thought that maybe we could, like, open it up. I'm going back in here, by the way. I want to kill whatever that thing was. Where is he? I'm going to interact with this, and then we're going to leave. Yep, here he is. Okay, hopefully I have latched onto him. Okay, that was a bad angle to shoot. Wow, his duck, did he missed as well. Oh, whoops, I definitely whiffed that one. Okay, good. Uh, pretty good shots, actually. Oh, no, nope, I'm dodging those. Okay, took that one straight to the face. Okay, definitely took that one as well. I hit the space bar, but it just wasn't quick enough. So we've just lost our doggo. Let's peg him a few times to slow him down a little bit. Oh my god! There was no, there was no way around that! Wait, do we turn to stone? We turn to stone. Ah, interesting. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what we supposed to be doing in here. I still don't see any sigils. I've kept an eye out. There's no sigils around the place. No reasonable order unless it's in this book how many we need four there are endeavors uh six there's six in here so that's not helpful it's not helpful whatsoever hey that's us cool cool i always had this theory right that whenever we die we respawn into the same iteration of reality that we weren't in we, we just respawn into another body and then we take conscious control of that person right there as they touch it. So it's kind of like uh, the AI volunteers to touch the stone and then we transfer into their body as the player. That has just been confirmed to be completely false because we just saw our own corpse right there as it died. Right, so... Oh, we got a ring as well. What's this? Uh, the Thalos Islet. Not interested. Probably want to peg this guy more than we want to do anything else, right? I'm going to try peg him lots. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ow! Piss! Okay, I'm gonna peg him. That was a big miss on his behalf. Oh, good, good swings! Damn, that was a really, really good swing. The stampede modifier, not particularly uh, challenging, but the vicious modifier is absolutely revolting to have to deal with right this second. Okay, good. Probably gonna do another stampede. There it goes. Whoa, okay, that was close. What the f are you taking the pit? I almost just got killed by my own weapon. Okay, we'll dodge that one, of course. Uh, dodge that stampede. Whoa, that was close. We've almost got him. Oh, we just have to do Yes. Yes. We got the Bloodless King's Vow. And we got the Mutator Searing Wounds. That sounds like a melee modifier. Okay, so what do we get? We got the Bloodless King's Vow. Gain 4% of base range damage dealt as lifesteal. <laughs> I'd be happy to actually sacrifice a little bit of damage for that. That is insanely powerful. Our base range damage is really, really high. Like crazy high. What would we replace though? Probably Xania's Malice. That's the one thing that we aren't 100% on keeping. It basically just um, increases weak spot damage, which we're not particularly... Speaking into, this one is a better build, I feel. It's a, it's, a, it's a far better build. Okay, so we can still sacrifice items at this altar. We still have that uh, kind of like little tringle, the, tr the tringle what's -a doodle the item. We could probably put it in here and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to use a dragon heart because we are not at full health, even though we are regenerating health at an alarming rate. Let's put this in here. Or not. Okay, I think we need three of them. We almost definitely need three of them. Uh, still looking around for, like, sigils. I don't see any. I don't really see any. We just attack this. Nothing happens. Okay. Hmm. Now, I am seeing a lot of differing places where the Bloodless King is... Oh, that must be the jail that he was locked in, which is why it's so ceremonial and big. That makes a lot of sense, actually. So, that's a little bit of lore. Uh, we found his crown there as well, so he must have died in that room. 
He must have died in that room. Which means that the elemental who can't leave her post never knew why he died. Right, that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, so we've found a little bit of lore. Uh, we've got a pot right here, doing a little bit of damage. No, he's actually done no damage. That one almost hit us, you bastard. Here you go, have a pegging. Have two of them, at Oh no, I've only got the one. Uh, it's okay, we can attack from range, I suppose. Here we go. Do the last of the damage like that. Good! Okay, uh... Right, so we still have the mystery of that unsolved puzzle, don't we? I'm actually just really quickly gonna try and find a hint. Because I'm not playing this DLC as soon as it released, unlike all of the others. And I'm pretty sure... Goddesses Rest... Remnant 2. I'm pretty sure that the wiki would have been updated. I personally updated the wiki for the Labyrinth fight. Oh! Yep, people are talking about it. People are talking about it on mass. Apparently it's really confusing. Okay. No, they're not, actually. People are not talking about it. People are asking how to solve it. And as a response, people are just linking irrelevant wikis. Oh, it's the same one as in the base game. Okay, so I actually remember how to do that one. It was not particularly difficult. We just kind of have to uh, walk off of the same elevator that the hidden door is right beneath. Hello there, guys. Um, Pudd on them what? Pudd on them what? Okay, I am going to get away from that. He's attacking Doggo. Okay, missed. That was a little bit of a damn fart. Oh. Uh, we're going to uh, dodge away from him because he is actually hurting us. Quite badly. We're gonna dodge that, of course. And then we're gonna kill him. Excellent. Good! Triple mob spawns ain't got nothing on me. That 4% lifesteal also makes a massive difference. Like, a huge difference. Okay, we'll come all the way up here. I actually do know exactly what we're supposed to be doing, so... Don't fret, any everybody. Uh, let's peg that guy. I would not have used a peg if I had known that uh, we were firing at such a distance. Okay, I don't know if that actually hit him. It did not. That's frustrating. Uh, still gonna attack. There we go. Right, so we come up here. We go all the way back. I'm still not entirely sure what else we could maybe put into that sacrificial bowl. Because it's obviously a sacrificial bowl. I thought that maybe we'd be able to put his ring into it or other things that would kind of relate to the Bloodless King himself. Oh, it's still speculate is the father of that guy that we keep finding all over the all over the map. Praise. This guy's doing a, a big dirty. He went underground for a second. It didn't do anything though. We still beat him. And there's another guy over here who I just shot in the back. Hilarious. Very funny indeed. Okay, so down here there is more. I just shot that deer for no reason. Uh, I just kind of saw something moving. Okay. What's going on? Let's get the Tesla gun out for this one. Because I don't think they can hit us. And there's a lot of them down there. Oh, wow. Penis. Your penis. Okay. I did a bit of damage. We're taking a lot of damage. Uh, the lifesteal actually makes a huge difference, though. Like, it's making an enormous difference. Uh, let's chain this guy right here. And then we'll start firing on him. Good, there we go. And now this guy is the last guy to go. Wonderful, and I'm pretty sure we just refilled most of our ammo. The Tesla gun is empty, let's change that. And now we'll push onwards. Uh, that area literally had nothing to tell us or give us or anything like that. Except for a big fight, which is a little right. bit annoying. Come dog Shark, oh hey Mr. Sin. What's up Dog Shark, how we doing? I'm just going through this um, masochistic run of tripled enemies in Remnant 2's uh, newest DLC. Maybe not the new DLC, but it's definitely the newest. I'm just about to solve a puzzle. Oh, piss. Or maybe I'm actually about to die in a hole. Okay, good. Excellent. We actually pegged him. Twice, even. Uh, we didn't get the other one, though, unfortunately. I feel like he was hiding behind the special. I'm going to kill all of these rude dudes here. Take them all out. I know I can strafe this guy. He's not actually that bad. We'll reload, and then we'll get our ass kicker out. There we go. Excellent. He's dead. Great. Can't carry anymore. More great than a cheese grater. That didn't work as well as I thought it would. <laughs> okay. 
So, up here, I remember there being, in the base game, the secret is on this tower. So if we just go up, I think that we'll find it somewhere. I don't remember it being on the inside walls though. I remember it being kind of like on the outside. Okay, there's a platform kind of down there that we could have taken a look at. Right, we're still looking for kind of like a, um, a four, a four symbol code that would allow us to access a secret hidden room that we've already found. I don't remember the secret being in here. I remember it being kind of like outwards a little bit. Maybe down here? No. Down here maybe? Can't go down there. No, can't go down there either. Huh. Now, realistically, it could also be that we make this go up and the combination could be on the side of the elevator. There it is. Okay, uh, Pokeball, Pyramid Circle, uh, I don't know what that is. Penis. I know that one. Okay, that's most of them? Is it in here? No, it's down one further, I think. Let's continue downwards and go down here. Okay, so the last one is the cog. That's what I remember. And the second one was the Pokeball. So, no, second one was Triangle. This one was... Oh, I don't remember. Probably that one. This one was definitely cock. And this one was that one. So this one must be something else. Oh, no, we have to activate it. All right, so... No, that wasn't it. I know the last one is definitely the cock. Cock. Maybe the top one was the Pokeball. Oh, there's actually a lot of these that look the same. I'm pretty sure the kind of like diagonal uh, circle thing there was at the top. This one also fairly certain was the triangle circle right there. I thought that one was the Pokeball. We could go and check again. We could go and check again. Whoop, just confused myself for a little bit there. We'll go check again. We'll go check again. I mean, what's the harm, right? We can hit the lever and we can watch them all come back down as well. Alright, cock is last. I don't know why it looks like a cock. It just looks like a cock to me. It looks like a cock and balls. So second last. Second last is kind of like the, the circle with the platform. Right, the circle with the platform. This is the second last one. And basically we got the rest of them correct. And down here. Can't go through that gap. That's stupid. <laughs> We could easily fit through that gap. Okay, second last one is not that one, I don't think. It was not this one. This one. There we go. Nice. What's our reward? Oh, a purple thing. It's a relic. It's a heart relic. It better be a good one because we haven't found any good ones since we started the game. We got the blooming heart. I have no idea what this is. I've never seen it before, never heard of it. It's not the base game of Remnant from the Ashes. What is it? On use, heals for 35% of max health over 5 seconds. Yuck, that actually sucks. Spawns 3 healing orbs, which grant 35 of casters max health over 5 seconds. Yuck. Orbs last 20 seconds. Recasting removes previous orbs. That would be a... That'd actually probably be first choice for co-op play, but... Not so much what we're playing now. Not solo. Definitely not solo. So, uh, we're gonna duck that one. We have it though. We have it for the collection. Uh, what else is here? Goddess's rest. So we definitely found that kind of antechamber, right? And we also need something to sacrifice to it. Now, on the way here, on the way here, we found a couple of other things. Oh, this is its own kind of like little sequestered area. So we can actually leave here and come back. Okay, is there like a bonfire close by that we can maybe rest at? I don't think so. No, not even remotely. We have to walk all the way back. That's fine. I will do exactly that. We'll do exactly that. Um, let's come out uh, here, out and away. That's an enemy. Was an enemy. My mistake. Sorry, I misspoke for a split second there. Whoa! Okay. Oh my god, that was pure reflexes, that one. They're coming back, baby. The reflexes. They're coming back. Excellent. Uh, let's get our Tesla gun out. We probably need to pass. I was actually just about to say how we need to get the pegs back in case we encounter one of literally those guys. But it seems as though fate has other plans. No! Okay, Doggo, you take care of the ads. I will take care of these. Okay, as soon as that guy dumps his load, 
I am going to fire off this class skill, kill that guy, uh, absolutely cripple this guy, and then we're going to start dumping our ass kicker into him. There we go, great. And of course this pot is next. Please? Please do damage? Great. Awesome. Dropped a luminite crystal, which is actually pretty nice. I do like a free luminite crystal. It's like 500 bucks in the bank. Hello. Sorry about the uh, the relentless murder. I just I, I couldn't help myself. Uh, there's probably going to be another couple in between us, right? Yep, here they are. Boom, boom. Oop. I think I just killed the female of the pack. Ah, I'll leave the male. What's what's the harm? What's the harm? We'll come in here. We'll use this checkpoint, and I think after we use this checkpoint, we'll go back to a different area. We actually have unlocked a bunch of different places, but we haven't unlocked this kind of like antechamber down here. Now, I think we go back to the glittering grotto. Is that where we started? I think that's where we started. We can always check the map as soon as we get there. We go back there, we talk to the guy who's now at the base of the platform that we lowered to get the talk ability, the, the translate ability. We speak to him, we see what he has to say to us. He's probably going to say, hey, I've got some floating souls somewhere off in another dungeon, which we've also found. So we can go and get that pretty, pretty fast as well. All right, this is the place, isn't it? This is... There he is. That's him right there. Uh, there's also this door that we can't enter yet. And we also haven't been up here just yet either, but it looks like its own uh, kind of like little region too. So if we go forward and then hang a left... We'll be way above him, which we don't actually want. We want to go down, down. Okay, we're going to go forward until we hit a wall, and then we'll go left, and we'll follow left until we hit the guy that we're looking for. Hello there, centipede. Bye-bye, centipede. Okay, he didn't last a single second. Is there another? Oh, there is. Sorry, doggo, I left you to uh, fight the centipede by yourself. That looks like a special. Let's chain into his face. Woo. There we go. And now we will dump our load at him as fast as possible. Bolamo! Yeah, baby! Okay, we don't want to be near any of these little seeds, so let's pop our fast skill while we wait. Hilarious. Uh, that almost hit us. That was very close. That one hit us. That consecutively hit us. That sucks. Uh, Doggo's going to get us up, though. He's a good boy. Thank you, Doggo. Alright, good, and now we dump, we dump, we dump, we dump, we dump, we dump. Okay, we still took a rather large hit, which is maybe not amazing. Uh, but fortunately, we survived the initial boss encounter, we just have to take care of this one ad. And we are home free. Right. Okay, so we'll... Do we go the right direction? Yes, we did. He's very close. He's very, very close to where we are. Uh, that screams the enemy right there. Yep, there we go. He's a special too. We'll chain him, and then we will dump. We'll do a big old dump right, right into his... Damn, that was a horrible time to have activated the, the kill skill. Oh, okay. Fortunately, now we remember that they are there. Hey, we turned to stone again. Oh, that's because of the curse that was laid on us. Right, okay. That's really cool. That is so cool. That little touch of continuity, I adore it. Like, it's actually fantastic. Uh, get our ass kicker up here. Unfortunately, the ass kicker doesn't seem to penetrate corpses, which is maybe not the best thing in the world. Who the hell is attacking me? This guy. Right here. Maybe I'll kill him with the, uh, whoop, with the dream catcher. That'd be funny. There we go. My souls. My souls. Uh, let's get the Tesla gun out. I hope that's not a special. About to find out. Not just gargoyle. Uh, that's a special right there. Let's peg him. Let's peg him in the face. There we go. We got two into his head before he even reacted, which is pretty funny. I'll do a chain, and then we will do an attack. And we'll keep back a little bit. On account of him really having our number. Okay, I'll go here. We almost got hit by one of those little seedlings, but we didn't quite. We got hit by that one, unfortunately. Uh, let's get our Tesla gun out. Because not only does it hit harder at close range, but we can also chain all of the lightning between these enemies here. Wonderful. Great. Moving on. Uh, we definitely want to peg this guy, right? Where is he? Where the hell is he? Okay, I don't think he spawned again. Where's our body? Never mind, there he is. He was just outside of render distance. Okay. 
Still gonna be firing at him. Uh, let's kind of put some distance in between us and that pot right beside us. Uh, there's our corpse, by the way. Our corpse is right there. Our corpse is right beside us. I think I may have just broken it. Uh, let's fire a round at the pot. Oops, that's not good. And again, there we go. So where's our corpse? Ah, it's not here. Hey, pothead. Bye-bye. Got the ass kicker on him and almost dumped a full mag into him, but didn't quite get it. Very close, though. Uh, that's just a crud. Wow. He was late to the party, wasn't he? What an oaf. Okay, I'm going to reload. And the guy we're after is actually just down to our left in here. So we can now speak his language. He's, he's probably going to ask us to go and retrieve his, uh, his flame. What did I do? Oh, I am dressed like them, I suppose. To kill, to kill, that is our song. Its harmonious refrain. We bring death to those who harm our lady. The spirit of the land gave voice to Uko. Now we sing her will and wrath. Death, she sings. Death to the hoofed ones. Kill you. Kill all. Well, that's actually quite enlightening. Now we know what is playing in their heads as we murder them relentlessly. To the extent of genocide, I would probably say. We are genociding whatever these things are. I also feel like when they say that they harmed... The goddess, Lysander, or something like that. I think what they mean is that they broke her heart by keeping her love away from her, the king. The king was her love, and the Pax took her took her away. Your vessel looks a little broken, buddy. Not yet. Not yet. Ugo refuses to crumble. Not while we yet sing. This vessel was once part of the Hoofed One's chorus. It sang their tuneless song. It danced their graceless dance. Then Our Lady's aria arose. Louder and louder, louder still. From the empty, it resounded. Called to it in our own. It sang the song of death, and our voice joined hers. We crushed hoofed ones. Hoofed ones crushed us. But they could not silence our song. Still we sing kill. And kill until our song ends. Now we cross you to your screams, our euphony. The pen are already dead. The hoofed ones crumbled, returned to dust. Yeah, sorry, man. Our song. Already sung. You missed the party. Yes, we hear it now. At long last. <gasps> the sweet music. The melody of the end. This guy's gullible. Nice! I got the stone shaper's chisel. He just gave up. Wow. All I had to do was uh, say, you already did. I'm dressed like them, for God's sake. Like, come on, man. You idiot. What an idiot, man. Okay, what does this do? After not using primary fire of a weapon for 10 seconds, all damage is increased by 25%. Wow. Primary fire of a weapon instantly cancels the effect. Yeah. Nah. Mm. Mm. Okay. Energized net coil still 
slightly outperforming it, but that is very attractive for just kind of like a specials build. But we aren't using specials. We, we aren't, we don't have that kind of build. So I don't think it's necessarily going to be useful to us right now. Okie dokie. Uh, we're running out of places to go and explore, aren't we? We still have... Now oh, we've been up there. Where can't we go? We... Actually... W the answer is literally to go anywhere but where we are. How do we get over there? Where is that? Above us. Is there like a, a lift? Of some sort around here? Maybe? There might be. We just like try and charge through walls and such. Nope, nothing. Through here? Nope, that is actually just rubble. Okay. Fine. I tried. I don't know how to get up there, but I, I... Oh, no, I do know how to get up there. Yes, there is an elevator here. And there is a path that we did not go down, isn't there? Where the effing H is it? This one. This one right here. Oh, that's exactly the right level as well. So all we need to do is go back this way, go up some stairs, we'll go to the elevator, and then we will kind of uh, go off of that... We'll leave the beaten path. Assuming the beaten path is literally an elevator, which I would consider very beaten. That is a very, very beaten path. How have we not been in here? Have we been in here? I just saw a bunch of... a bunch of uh, red on the map disappear. Okay, where is it? Which way is it? Oh, maybe it's not in here. Maybe it's actually in a different lift. Because this is just straight back to the beginning. Okay, there's got to be a different one, right? A different lift. So we're at the main thoroughfare now. Where's this checkpoint? Okay. We haven't been there. We could go up there now. We could go up there and we could see whether or not there is actually something worth checking out. Because at this point, we're at a bit of a loss, aren't we? We still know that there may be also in here. Let's go back there. I think that there is kind of like a secret lift in there. But I also remember it being on the map. Okay, let's go. We'll gap it. We'll gap it out of here. We're not going to touch that uh, gigantic rock cock on account of, you know, us not needing to do so. Uh, I am going to get rid of this special right here because they are really annoying. Probably going to do a dive bomb. There it goes. Ow! I think. Okay, he's doing a scream. It didn't help. Oh, piss. What's going on? Oh my god! Where did all these specials come from? What the hell is going on? I mean, it's fine. I don't mind necessarily, but... Come on! You gotta communicate a little bit, game. Okay, that was a lot of damage we just did then. Whoop. Dodge that. Take this one out last. Okay. That was super unexpected. I did not see that coming. Especially since it was so out of the blue. Three of them at once, like that, uh, you don't see that. You don't see that much. Okay, I still don't really see. Yeah, let's go up here. Let's go up these staircases and we'll see if we can like roll onto the other platform just up there. Cause there's a door up there. There's a door that will allow us to go somewhere nice. What was that? I saw a red thing in there. Oh, I, I think that was the spawn actually. I think that was actually the spawn that we kind of started here. Started here with. Okay, so now that we're up here, where do we want to look? Want to look... We're basically on the wrong side of the map at this point. We wanted to go up here, didn't we? Get up here. Okay, so we want to go all the way back there, actually, which is through that cave that we just saw. And then we're going to come all the way back up to that platform, that landing. Not up here. Maybe it is up there. Maybe it is actually up there. Is it up there? Uh, yes, actually, it is up there. So we can go up this way. I do see it on the map right above us, too. Okay, good. Uh, let's do a leap right here. Do a leap like scared to be lonely. You know the one. You know do a leaper. Everyone knows do a leaper. Good. And we'll come up. Hey! This guy just cancelled my climb. What a dick. What an actual dick. 
Okay, we'll come up here and we'll see if there's anything to be explored over yonder's way. There's a red portion of the map right over here. That may screw us. Okay, a bunch of centipedes. Wow, they whiffed every single chance. Every single chance. Oh, can't use the chest while reloading. That's fair, but silly. Oh, this is actually a big area. It's a whole thing up here. Look at this. Wow. Okay, I found some hardened iron. Uh, we're going to climb up this here branch. What the hell is that? Is this an egg? A curry curry egg. What? Why? Do we eat it? Inventory. Curry curry egg. A large blue egg that is shockingly sturdy. Your mouth waters a little thinking about the savoury yolk that is undoubtedly contained within. It would take nothing less than a stubborn chef with a passion for innovation to crack this thing. But where there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Now, there is actually a curry curry bird out in the base game of Remnant 2. I don't know if we have to give this bad boy to that bird. I'm not exactly willing to do so on account of it being a free object that we just pick up, but it, it could potentially be a thing. Okay. Hi, friends. Oh. oh, no! Oh, good. <laughs> I love it when a plan goes right. So we'll come all the way down here. We'll touch this giant rock hog that I do see on the map. It's very close to us. Should just be at the end of this tunnel right here. We'll take a look at the map and see what we've unlocked so far, because we should have unlocked majority of the map. Here we go. So, Yasha. Yeah, we've unlocked everything except for this kind of like internal palace over my shoulder here. The Lambent Pass is the next area, it seems. Van Citadel. No. Goddess's Rest. No. Whoa. No. Kind of weird that they call it the Goddess's Rest, isn't it? Because it seems like that's where the Bloodless King died. And correct me if I'm wrong, but King is a male term. Okay, we've actually unlocked a heap of the game already, so that's going to be great for the next session. So I am going to thank you so much for watching. Right up here, you're going to find the playlist for Remnant 2's Yasha DLC, and right up here, you're going to find another playlist that I think you'd really enjoy. And of course, just down in the description of this video, you'll find a link to my Discord, where you can talk to me and my community at your leisure. And until I record the next episode, thank you so much for watching. I will see you later, and goodbye!